Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I want to discuss how I defeated Merilith uh, in the fire area of the uh, of Stranger of Paradise. So this fight is actually really, really cool, but also can be quite challenging if you're the type of person where you just like to go crazy doing damage. This is another big boss fight, specifically on hard mode, if you're playing on hard mode like I am, that is going to be extremely challenging of your patience. So what you want to do here is just keep your distance. Straight up, always keep your distance. It doesn't matter your class. If you're playing in co-op, then obviously understand that the boss is always going to be chasing someone. But what you want to do is keep your distance and try to stay behind it. If you are behind it and it starts attacking someone else, slide in for a couple quick attacks and then get out and be ready for a quick tail whip coming your way. It's going to happen. The tail whip does heavy break gauge damage and a lot of health damage as well. So you need to make sure that you are well out of the way. Um, do not dodge forward or backwards. Uh, you need to dodge to the left or the right to dodge the tail whip. You'll see it when it comes in. It's very, very easy to avoid but also has a lot of range and you need to make sure that you stay away from it this attack right here asura you can absorb a lot of it to build up your mp i i developed a bit of a tactic where i avoided all of it except the last one because i was I, I, i'm just i'll be honest with you i was very tired and had a hard time absorbing all of them though it is possible so to keep that in mind you can see here that if you do get enough damage on the tail of merilith then she'll actually Kind of slump over for a moment that means everyone can go in and get a free few attacks in just be aware that if you are greedy you will be punished for it so what i would do is get in two or three hits and then immediately slide out this is another fight that's all about patience so you need to make sure that you're not greedy as well uh, you just wait for your time when she's not looking at you to get in there hit her and then get out there's that tail whip i failed to dodge that one there uh, there's a Sora again. You can uh, very easily absorb the last one to get some free MP, but you again, you can absorb more of it if you like. Um, and then outside of that, I, I, I was playing the uh, the Red Mage here, so I used a lot of you know spells to keep myself going uh, without using the pots because you're going to need pots more in the second phase than the first phase. Um, she, her swords can do very, very high uh, break damage as well, so you need to make sure that you are avoiding those. I would not try to absorb them because she will break you easily. All of her attacks, except Asura, I found, are very high in break damage, or break gauge damage. So, I would just straight up avoid all of them whenever possible, and then go in, hit the tail when you can, as I said a few times already, and then go from there. In her second phase, she becomes a lot tougher, and you know, she, uh... Her swords start glowing with fire and all of her attacks have extra fire damage on them and it just becomes a lot more difficult of a fight overall but the good news is she also gives you a lot more window of opportunity to get in there and attack her you'll see uh, when we get to that point that it's actually not so bad overall when you just practice your patience and capitalize on your moments to strike uh, you can see as well that she keeps doing a little bit of a gaze once in a while. I think it's called stone gaze. You want to make sure that you're not making eye contact with her. You can stand right next to her when she's doing it, but if you're facing her, she will petrify you. So what you want to do is make sure that you play like I am here. You want to just kind of keep running around, not facing her. Uh, only face her if you're going to be doing an absorb or attack her. But when the stone gaze comes up, you need to be looking another way. Doesn't matter where you are, just look away from her. Because if you're petrified, she will come over and then hit you with big, big damage, and there's nothing you can do about it whatsoever. Okay, so here we are going into uh, phase two now, which I'm going to be honest with you, Merilith is a very badass boss. She's, she's just very, very cool looking boss. This is the attack I was talking about, Inferno. Whenever she does this, you can run in and get three, four hits in very easily. And that's pretty much the only time I actually attack her for the most part during this entire phase. Her attacks, though, in this phase have a lot of opportunity to one shot you. There's one specifically where she will become a bit of a snake tornado and spin directly at you with all of her swords aimed directly in the middle. Uh, I can't remember the name of the attack, but you'll know it. There it is. Flaming Fury. If that attack hits you, it will have potential to one shot you. It did one shot me several times. Uh, and my character has, at this point, I think 1,300 health. On uh, I am on hard mode, so that is a thing as well. But all the same, if that attack hits you, it could one-shot you, so you need to be very careful. Outside of that, I just kept playing the same way, avoiding her until she used Inferno, going in for a few strikes, and then immediately backing off. 
Uh, that attack right there terrifies me every time, even now just watching it back. And then obviously you can see that her, her attention will split between the group a lot. It just keeps changing over and over. And she's not afraid to use Inferno quite often as well. So I actually found this easy at the end of the day. Uh, specifically the second phase, you just have to be more wary of her attacks because they are absolutely devastating. With that said, I hope this video helps you. If it doesn't, I'm so sorry. I know this, this, this fight is just so tough if you're uh, someone like me that just likes to get in and attack. Uh, but anyways, I hope it does help. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, leave a like and a comment. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss any of our future guides and streams of all sorts of games. And I will see you guys soon for more. You mustn't drink them like water. No room for mistakes. I'm ready. <laughs> Keeping track of your potions. Gotta stay sharp, guys. Damage.